Hello and welcome. My name is Max from Squadloft and today I want to talk about our current game project, Sombrero Tactics, which is a 2D top-down turn and squad based strategy game with a shooter mechanic twist and RPG elements. And the topic I want to dive into today is how the graphics of the game developed so far. So let us jump right into the first screenshot which is quite old now. Um, this is a first concept prototype. We started out using a 2D game engine. As you see, this version contains more like placeholder graphics with a super bulky HUD all around the game view. Also, you might stumble over a thing most alpha testers back then stumbled over, the thickness of the walls. One day a tester came to me and said, hey Max, this is not a game playing in a castle with super thick walls, is it? It's a western scenario. And so while we changed that and added some details, the graphic developed. We added small assets like the poker chips and cards on the table, different kind of tables, a horse card and so on, and made the walls thinner. But the graphics in this version still is not radiating too much atmosphere, right? But at least the thin walls gave us the opportunity to start making more believable interiors. And then we decided to add lightning. Lights and shadows are a great way to add an atmospheric touch to a game. Let's see it without lightning once more. And with lights and shadows again. At that time we still developed on basis of that 2D game engine, which did not have any built-in lightning engine. So we had to build that ourselves, which was an interesting journey on its own. But I think the result justified the effort and added quite a bit of atmosphere to the game. However, and to be honest, that version still looked a bit plain, right? So we made another step, and apart from adding small details like floors for indoor environments, we managed to add a good portion of visual depth to the graphics. For example, look at those hay bales lying in the bottom left corner of this screen, and compare them with those lying around here at the bottom. Much more visual depth, right? This change was mainly achieved by switching the game engine, to Unity in our case, and by using their built-in lightning system. And while the game still is a top-downer, the 3D capabilities of Unity makes this plus in visual depth possible. At the same time, we added more assets to increase the level of detail, like the graveyard on the right here, bushes on the left, or the stuff lying around outside the building. Adding assets is a process that is not finished, but we are heading in the right direction, I think. So, what do you think about our graphical journey so far? What do you like, and what do you think we can do better? Leave us your thoughts in the comments, like, share, and please consider subscribing. We would love to keep you updated, so good times for you and cheers!